welcome to the training hosted by Javier Carrasco. The focus of the training will be developing the field day with stations. The field day training is aligned with the comprehensive school physical activity program model, specifically family and community involvement. Today we'll take a look at a sample field day and important steps to follow to a successful field day at your campus. Let's take a look at a simple field day. Why should we have a field day? It provides an opportunity for students to express themselves, demonstrate fun and sportsmanship. It brings the community staff and students together around a common theme of health and wellness. You might be asking, who should be on your planning team? This should be an administrator, a teacher from every grade level, a PTA volunteer, a business partner, custodial staff, cafeteria staff, paraprofessionals, and a nurse. Your campus improvement team should have these individuals on its team. Organization is also critical to a successful day. It's important to set up meeting dates and times and have an agenda. Follow it and pass it out to everyone. It's important to set due dates and timelines. The 
due dates can serve as a formative evaluation to see if you are getting the equipment, the resources, and anything that you might need for your particular day. You also need administrative support. This is a sample field day meeting schedule. With the committee that's meeting, the place, time, and date of the meeting. It's important to ensure student safety and organization is accounted for for the field day. It's important to have emergency exits for the field day. Have the nurse on hand who can provide care to all the learners. Have clear and specific instructions for everyone with positive reinforcement. It's also important to account for all the equipment and the resources that you might need for the day. For this example, the resources and equipment are a canopy, hole punchers, ice chest, poster board, fruit, prizes, guests, a jumping balloon, chairs and tables. The business partners can help with the resources and equipment. And what can happen is that the school can advertise for them for the business, while the business provides some of the resources and equipment that you might need for the field day. It's important to ensure you know what you need. You might be wondering, how do we get the equipment or the resources? It's very important to maintain support from teachers across the campus. And this is a sample letter for equipment and resources donations. As you're waiting for the donations and the resources to come in, you can also ask teachers across the campus to craft a student visor for field day and to promote sun safety. Let's take a look at a visor template. This can be constructed with yarn and construction paper. It's important to send out invitations to the police department, fire department, superintendent, and the media for the specific day. It's also very important for the committee to create activities and a schedule for students based on the equipment and the resources that are available. The committee can create stations based on the resources and equipment. These are some examples. The bat spin. with specific instructions, the basket toss, scooter board race, football toss, free throws, the home run derby, an obstacle course, a jumping balloon, and the photographer. The committee can also create a brochure for the day by denoting the date, the schedule for pre-K through fifth grade, and what, what the parents should expect and what to wear. After the stations have been created, it's also important to create a map with the various stations. The two X's in this station denote a water station. The cross denotes the nurse's station. And the various numbers are the various games the students would play. It's also have to, important to have the support staff on board, like the nurse has noted previously. They should have their own station for the big day. They should have a first aid kit with water and a radio for communication with the front office. Custodial staff can also be an important tool. They should be designated to keep the area clean 
and provide trash bags and trash cans. There should also be a child care booth, and the cafeteria staff can be an important component of the field day to donate lunches for volunteers if feasible. Paraprofessionals and PTA or teachers on campus can also print, laminate, and add yarn to a medallion. The medallion is, is very important for the stations that the students will go to for the field day. Let's take a look at the medallion. The medallion has the various station that the students would go to the day of the field day. And the whole punch would designate that the student has already been to the particular station. Other individuals on campus can design signs for the field day to promote health and wellness based upon the map. This can be a component of an art lesson for creativity. The PTA can also develop fundraisers and use money for student t-shirts with the school colors. They can also market the field day during PTA events and get other parents to sign up and be a part of it as a volunteer. After you know everyone that's going to volunteer for the field day, it's important to develop a parent orientation where you thank them, you share with them that they're part of the team, you share a uniform with them, you go over the expectations with them, and go over the activities of each station. Let's take a look at the various stations. That should be covered the day of the parent orientation bat spin, the basket toss, scooter board races. It's important to demonstrate the stations for the parents so they know exactly what to expect. This is a sample agenda where you'd welcome the parents, provide them with a field day map and a brochure share with them the importance of professionalism and what they should be wearing the big day. It's also important to share with them that any type of discipline problem should be handled by a certified teacher. What time their lunch should be and what, they, what time they should arrive the day of the field day to help with setup. It's also important to have a student orientation so they know what to expect the big day. You can empower 10 students to demonstrate to all of the campus the various stations they would see the day of the field day. This can be done utili utilizing the sport education model. Before the field day, after you know all the volunteers that are going to help, create the job assignments. Utilize everyone and have alternates available if feasible. Very important to remind the staff to wear a district ID badge so they can be easily identified. There's a sample volunteer sign-in sheet with the parent's name and the assignment for the big day. The day before the field day, make sure every, all the resources and the equipment are available. And ensure that the administrator reminds everyone during the morning announcements and right before the end of school about the field day. There can also be reminder bracelets for the lower grades, like kindergarten, to ensure they know what to wear for the, for the field day. This is an example of a reminder bracelet for kindergartners, if needed. The day of the field day, 
As everyone said enough, it's important to have a volunteer booth, where a volunteer can sign individuals in to account for all stations. Let's take a look at a sign-in sheet for the different stations. After the field day, it's important to show appreciation to all the volunteers with thank you cards, flags, and having a luncheon for everyone that's involved. The keys to success are hospitality and the appreciation of everyone involved, also having water and canopies. Account for the little things like sportsmanship, manners, and respect. Let's take a look at the field day after all the components have been focused on. After the field day, it's important to reflect on your work. Maxine Green denotes that reflection allows an individual's imagination to be released. And if we regard curriculum as an undertaking involving continuous interpretations, educators